But it's something when you've been going through you know, some things in your mind and in your, your physical body and then things going on in the world. It's just, there's a pulling, a tugging in a place of worship and get into that presence and that place with the Lord. But I stand today to introduce the speaker today. Also, worshiper and woman of God. I've watched her. She's just, once she came here, she's just been here serving, singing, worshiping, praying, supporting, just doing great and mighty things. And I'm just so ready for the word that's deep down in her belly that's just going to pour out. And can you just stretch your hand and say, Father, Father release the word. Release the Father, Father, I'm ready to receive your word. this morning, Prophet Mary Ritz. We thank you for a word that's burning in her belly, Lord God, that even if she got notes, Lord God, that you just stir her spirit a different way, Lord God, that you just take her off and just begin to download fresh rhema and knowledge, Lord God, and understanding into her wisdom and into her mind, Lord, that we may receive all that you have for us to receive today, Lord. We thank you for her strength, Lord, that she may stand boldly on your word to declare what thus said the Lord in this time and in this season. God, we thank you now that no weapon that is formed against us shall be able to prosper. We block out any distractions, anything that try to come against the woman of God and the word of God. So right now, we thank you, Lord, for this woman of God that you're going to use this morning. We thank you for the word. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. At this time, put your hands together and receive our very own confidence, very rich in Jesus' name. Come on and put your hands together.
just for me, but for the people of God, for my family, your family. Hallelujah. And for these babies right here. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. Lord, I just want to thank you right now for this time that you've given me to speak to your word and to these your people. Let it fall on fertile grounds. I thank you right now, God, that you'll open up their heart to receive what you have given me to tell them. Thank you, Father, that you allow merit to decrease as you increased in me. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. For this vessel of honor of this house. Dr. Deborah Perrington and Dr. Ferris. Hallelujah. I just want to say thank you for seeing the gift that God has placed on me and the calling on my life and giving me an open up a door for him to use me as he wants to. So now, we just give it all to God right now. And I won't be before you long. But today, hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Hallelujah. I want y'all to look at him. And he could be anywhere doing anything and everything. But he embraced the call on his life. Nineteen. He could be doing anything. So this is what, mama, 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 because it starts at home. I thank you for being the example that God has sent you here to be. I thank you for seeing in me what you see in me. Amen. Thank you. Y'all better look at this right here and follow young men and ladies. Hallelujah. The word today God gave me, and I was like, well, y'all can have a seat. He said, love. I said, love? That's all you're going to give me? I said, that's it? I said, okay, love. I said, what you want me to say? I said, not sure what you want me to say, God. He said, I'm giving you what to say, man. He said, love. So, I said, okay. So last night, because I kept pondering love, and I said, well, love, glory. Hallelujah. He says, look, I need you to look it up. He said, each letter means something. So this is what the Holy Spirit gave me in. And I hope it bless you all today. Love. L. Long suffering. Just in case some of you are too young to know what long suffering is, he says, having or showing patience in spite of trouble, especially those that cause the trouble by others. Uncomplaining, long suffering. Oh, omnipresent. If you don't know what omnipresent is, he said, being present everywhere at once. How can that be? You will ask yourself, well, how can he be omnipresent at once? Because that's God. He created us. And he can be present at once because what he is in us. And if we can embrace that, we can have him all the time. V, victorious. Victorious means having won a victory. Triumph. Conquering. Champion. Winning. I need you 
need to hear what God is saying to you today. Because see, so many times we think our kids are too small to understand. But see, when Mary had Jesus, she began to minister to him while she carried him. And even when he was birthed, she began to minister the word of God. That's why he was able to stay where he came from. And I'm saying to the parents today, don't just think, well, they don't understand, boo, boo, ga, ga, da, da. No, you need to talk to your children. Talk to them plain English. Feed them the word of God. Take the phones away. Take the iPads away. Come on, take the television away sometimes. And, 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 and begin to minister the word of God to them. Last, be everlasting. Everlasting means without end, endless, timeless, infinite, eternal, undying, undestructible. Love. Love is unselfish, loyal. Benevolent, yes. intention, commitment toward one another, and it can be used with us. Yes. Can y'all hear that today? Yes. Let me let me read that again because I some it involves somewhere. Hallelujah. Love is unselfish. Yes. Love is loyal. Love is benevolent. Love is intention. See, I intentionally love you. Jesus intentionally loved us. So the word to you all today, young men and women, intentionally love one another. Glory to God. Love is one of the fruits of the Spirit. So I say, God, okay, that is all you gave me. What else? Glory. Hallelujah. If I love you, I don't mean you no harm. If I love you, I got your back. And I ain't gonna let nobody else hurt you. If I love you, I ain't gonna talk about you. If I love you, I ain't gonna laugh in your face and stab you in your back. If I love you, I'm going to cover you. Yeah. If I love you, I'm going to hide where, you, where you, you, your sins are. I won't let nobody else see it. If I love you. That's what Jesus did. And he's still doing it to this day. He covers us. He hides us in our midst. Because we, we still got some mess going on around here. And, and, and I know I do. And he's still forever changing me. Hallelujah. So, I got to come with you if I'm your friend. Come on, come on, come on. Jesus called us friend. Yes, yes, yes. What kind of love is this? That a man will lay down, I'm going to say it like this, that a friend will lay down his life yes, yes. for a friend. Yes. That's what Jesus did for us. He called us friend. So, I need y'all to take this word and eat it. And feed your spirit and not your flesh. So often time we get caught up in the things of the world. God said to tell you, you have got caught up. You've been conformed to the ways of the world. But he come today to transform you and renew your mind of a new way of thinking. And that's on him. I know it's grown folks in here today, but I'm talking to the children that day is you Sunday. And I'm talking to you all today. There should be no division. You all should link up like a chain. And it can't be nothing that come in there to tear it down. Because y'all got one another. You're no better than the next person that's sitting next to you. You get them that God gave you may be different. But you're not greater. We're not greater. We all 
the same in God's eyesight. You're not prettier than the next person sitting next to you. We're all the same in God's eyesight. Can y'all hear that today, young men and women? Glory to God. So I just, this is something that I need you to do right now, and then I'm going to continue. I need you all to grab hands. Link up, link up, link up. And I'm going to sing this little song, then I'm going to finish. I said I wasn't going to be here long. If I can sing it, hallelujah. Yeah, come on, baby. Come on up here, hallelujah, preacher man. <laughs> hallelujah. Come on up here, songstress. She shy. Oh, we're going to leave her alone. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And everybody can link up if y'all can. Because God said to sing this. And I'm going to sing it the best I can. Hallelujah. And then I'm going to finish this word. But I got to obey the spirit. And I need, as I'm singing, I need you to look one another in the eye. And I need you to mean what I, I mean. You mean it. Don't just do it because I say it. But I need you to mean it from your heart. Can y'all hear me today? Hallelujah. I need you. You need me. We're all a part of God's body. Stand with me. Agree.
Hallelujah. I just want to, can I, I want to introduce somebody to them. Can I call him down? Carlos Pearson, will you come down? This is my oldest child. Praise God. <laughs> Look at it. Yeah. He kept 